comes down. But it's easy, yeah. But what does the milkman have to do with it? It's a metaphor. Like an image? It's nonsense. Where have you ever seen a milkman making home deliveries? They did it before. Before? Before when? Before, yeah, during the British rule. It was another time. You sound like my grandfather. What about grocery stores and corner stores and supermarkets? That would be in the cities. In the towns, there were grocery shops to buy milk. Besides, I've never seen a milkman. But <coughs> they came to the house very early in the morning to deliver milk and yogurt. And yogurt. Come on. What are you saying? I swear, just ask your grandfather. <laughs> My grandfather says they had absolutely nothing. So how could there have been milkmen? Then you just have to take my word for it, na? There were milkmen. Milkmen who went to houses at 6 in the morning? No, who? What is this that you are putting me on? Why would I be putting you on? It's just that I don't understand you. Were there or weren't there milkmen who went to houses at 6 in the morning? <laughs> I guess so, there were. <laughs> you guess. What you mean is that you have no idea. Just like me. You're such a pain with that phrase, yeah? Maybe they went a little later. Maybe the timing wasn't on. How am I supposed to know everything that you ask? <laughs> you see, it's not so clear. Not so obvious. That metaphor, that image. Besides, if they didn't go at 6 in the morning, why does it say they did? And what do milkmen have to do with democracy? God, <laughs> because if it's a democracy and somebody comes knocking on your door, then it's the milkman. <laughs> Why is it the milkman? <laughs> You're so annoying. Stop asking, yeah. Yeah, right. I'm annoying, but earlier it was all very clear, and now you can't explain it either. Look, it's the milkman because that means they aren't coming for you. Coming for me? Why would they come for someone at 6 in the morning? I don't understand. Then forget it. You see, it's not so clear, not so obvious. Besides, you're home, right? So you don't have to open the... If you haven't done anything, why would they come? Thieves. Is that it? Not thieves. Or I think even them would be thieves. <laughs> so which is it? Thieves or not thieves? Thieves, paramilitary, soldiers, police and every... Para? Para what? Police. Who called the police? Nobody. And that's exactly the point. Nobody called them. They just show up to take people away and kill them. If you didn't have democracy, you'd understand. Democracy is a fiction. I'm feeling cold. Let's go.
और मुझे बिल्कुल आवाज नहीं चाहिए ये पहनो बाहर बहुत सर्दी हो रही है पर मामा हम जा कर रहे हैं वो मैं बाद में बताऊंगी इसे पहनो पहले मामा ये मेरे को बिल्कुल नहीं पसंद चुपता है बहस मत करो इसे पहनो और इसके बाद अपने जूते भी ढूंढ के लाना चलो जल्दी जल्दी लेकिन अभी तो अंधेरा है मुझे नींद आ रही है मम्मा अपनी जूते लाट ढूंढ के जल्दी और आवाज एकदम नीचे रहेगी जल्द जल्दी काम करो मैं रोज बोलूंगी नहीं चलो अपनी चीजें रखो चीजें कौन सी चीजें सारी चीजें मैं रख लूंगी तुम जूते पहनो और एक काम करो अपना वो मोटा वाला कोट निकाल के लाओ चलो ये मामा ये वाला नहीं दूसरा वाला लाओ मोटा वाला पर मामा मुझे ये वाला अच्छा लगता है दूसरा वाला अभी भी मेरे बड़ा है
much longer. Time to sleep. My arms are itchy and I'm hungry.
you don't want to see and that's worse than having no home
and for three days and three nights, darkness was our only companion. It was the last boat, the last one. Hundreds of women, people and uh, children were packed like sardines in the belly of that merchant ship. The humidity, foul smell of enclosure, feeble moaning of hungry children. I shall not forget the humid the smell. Humid smell. There was no, no water, water, no food. We gasped for air. The captain. Wasn't it the captain who ordered the ship to retrace the crossing that it made during the day? Uh, and so it was for three days with their respective nights. That's it. Three days and three nights without knowing. What was happening? No one knew. No one explained anything. Why? Only hunger and cold. Your mother, she cried. She was so little. I cried. She howled, you mean? <coughs> yes. Sometimes. Sometimes she cried. Little sobs. Poor baby. She was hungry. Then another boat boarded that merchant ship. They arrested the crew and they arrested the captain. Then they took the boat to a neutral country where they welcomed the last refugees. The last ones. What does the news say? The radio doesn't work right. I can't hear. Nana! He deserved it. They deserved it. The hunger, the cold, the little children mourning. Your mother <coughs> shivering in my arms. That's justice. Not vengeance, no. Your mother knows that. I did not raise her to bear malice. What does the news say? Have you bought the newspaper? If your grandfather were alive, he stayed here to fight, to resist, and I was there with your mother in my arms. She was so little. It's not a lost cause, Nana. There must be a recourse. Lost? Your grandfather stayed here. With the fighting, with the bombing, houses burning, bridges destroyed. Did you say lost? The story doesn't end here. We will go on. I shall not forget the humid smell. We had no water. No food. We gasped for air. We were the last ones.
the last ones
तुम कह रही हो कि हम ये सब छोड़ के भाग जाए यहाँ पर मेरे सालों की मेहनत है खून पसीना एक करके मैंने इसे बनाया है पाई पाई जोड़ के इसे खड़ा किया है ऐसे कैसे चले जाए हमारे पास ताले हैं, चेन है हम सारी खिड़कियां बंद कर सकते हैं और दरवाजा बंद कर सकते हैं और अपने आप को घर के अंदर सेफ रख सकते हैं पर अगर हम चले गए ना तो इसे चोर और डकैत लूट लेंगे अगर हम यहाँ रुके भी रहे तो हम इसे नहीं बचा सकते मेरी लाश के ऊपर से आएंगे और यहाँ रुकी नहीं तो वैसा ही कुछ होने वाला है ये समझ लो मेरा वो मतलब नहीं था मैं तुम्हें सिर्फ इतना समझाना चाह रही हूँ कि यहाँ पर हमारी सेफ्टी की गारंटी करने वाला कोई नहीं है क्या कह रही हो तुम क्या बताना चाह रही हो मैं तुम्हें बता रही हूँ कि मैं यहां से निकल रही हूँ और मैं चाहती हूँ कि तुम मेरे साथ चलो जरा सोचो तुम्हारे पास ये कभी नहीं होता ऐसा घर खुली बालकनी सूरज की धूप और अब ये जबरदस्ती मेरा घर या तुम क्या इतफाक है दो टिकट्स जाने के लिए और हम दो जाने वाले जाने कहा जाने किसके साथ कहीं नहीं शायद भूख से बॉर्डर पर मरने के लिए या फिर शर्म से जब कोई गंदा आदमी हमें सर्च करेगा या फिर दुख से जब हम देखेंगे हमारे आसपास की दुनिया कैसे मिट रही है पर हमारे पास दो टिकट्स है ना तो सब कुछ डिसाइडेड है
Will it be much longer? No. By now should be. Ah. I've been taking pictures. You see, of the back closet of the rocking chair, I took lots of the chest of drawers. But poor drawers, so empty. Well, I also put it by what those. What time is it? Oh yeah, I didn't have time. I should have remembered. The clothes will be ruined. They rot away. First. There will be tiny little holes in that bigger and bigger ones. I don't like the smell in the drawers on the hangers, but there is no other way. They mask it with lavender sometimes, but that does no good. It smells just as bad. Reminds me of the end of summer. Are you sure? Should have been here. You never know. You have to plan ahead. They are there. Into your things, into your life, prowling around in the back of your closet, in the heart of, and one day they gobble it all up. How do they do that? I mean, do they swallow or chew or eat? Do they gulp it down in one bite without even savoring the taste? Or are they like cows, chewing their own cud? In wood. On the other hand, they leave labyrinths and corridors, immense interconnecting tunnels. Which what is this? Look. It's it's sticky. I can't get it off. Give me a rag. Hurry, give me a rag. I didn't tell you. A vast room. Before, in such a hurry, it's the water from one. It's coming from one or the other. Look, it's coming from here. You must not have shut it properly. That's it. What was? Forget it now. What's done is done. How does it matter? It's all the same. But just think. I didn't get a picture of it. I forgot the vase.
सकती क्या की हवा बहुत ठंडी है पर नीचे तो और भी बुरा है और कितना दूर है आप जानती हैं
Is that you? What do you want? Sent you. I'm here for my mistress. And what does your mistress want? To leave the country, a safe conduct, and a guide to the border. <laughs> and what does she have to offer? She's offering money. Once devalued currency, she's offering a lot of money. I'm not going to say it again. She has back stock. Don't insult me. Doesn't your mistress have anything of value? There's jewelry. What kind? Strands of pearls, necklaces of coral, amber, amethyst, jade, agate, all set in silver. Stop insulting me. <coughs> Rubies, sapphires. Emeralds and diamonds, all set in platinum and white gold. <laughs> That's better. Anything more? More. Paintings, silverware, ivory and ebony carvings. What about tea sets made in Czechoslovakia, Persian rugs, Chinese ceramic, Velvet curtains, fancy jewelry boxes, and watches. There is nothing left. I don't believe you. I'm not going to say it again. It's a good deal. No, it's not enough. What do you want, Haina? Everything. Well, this is all that is left. She's had to sell it secretly, bit by bit. She still has the house. It's mortgaged. Two mortgages. There's still the return. What do you mean? If she returns, she'll work for me. She'll be my servant. In exchange, I'll open the border for her. Work for you? For the hyena? Are you crazy? That's the world upside down. You said it. We are the ones on top now, the ones who open doors, the ones who save people from a certain death. <coughs> the life is worth nothing, but saving one costs a lot. Send that message to your mistress with my kindest regards. Don't expect her to accept a deal like that.
if you stay, they will have no regard for our age or family's reputation. Please go. I warned him. I don't keep quiet and certainly not in this kind of situation. He was almost finished with his degree, just a few courses left. Then he could teach at the university, a secure, respected job. Later he'd have time to write. But no, he had to begin writing just they now. They have dragnets, checkpoints, army patrols and they have been arresting people. So. Just forget this and please get out of here. Those union people duped him. They invited him to their secret meetings. They got him to write for them. Why did I not notice this sooner? Those people sucked his brain. He filled his heart with rancor, with bitterness towards his own family, his own kind. I'm going to take care of everything. You just have to trust me. And I'm on your side. Believe me. Besides, they will find you here. They've been looking for him. Maybe he's managed to escape. He stopped coming home to eat. His visits were further and further apart. He said he was busy, classes, exams, excuses. And even when he did come, his mind was far away. He was distracted. I understood then that the problem was politics. Lasted politics? Instead of studying, call for a strike. What have they done for him? How have they done? <coughs> what was in it for him? So what did you expect? That he put on his hands. That he would draw the curtain so he wouldn't see the arrests. That he'd say nothing. Or worse, that he'd become a cynic. Did you expect him to say, if they arrest them, there must be a reason? And just sit there, stirring his coffee that he'd accept silence and coercion. He should never have left Berenice. I told him, but he wouldn't listen. Berenice was a good girl, a cultured, sensible girl from an important family. She would not have consented. She would not have tolerated this nonsense, this disorder, this horrible chaos. How can he live in it this is chaos? The country. That's what's in chaos, ma'am. But well, if you mean the apartment, then yes, I do find it changed for the better. Now it has life, it exists. This is real. He must go back to Berenice. That would be best. Her family can get him out of the country. They have connections, lots of them. Their word means something. After all, it's just a misunderstanding, a youthful error, the awkwardness of a good boy, my boy. 
I like it better this way. Spontaneous and alive. The old order was deceitful. A farce. That dreadful woman is to blame for everything. <clears throat> that slut, that viper, that what's her name? She is the one who took him away from Berenice. She is the one who invited him to those seats. Yes, Diana is like that. Too selfish and too much the center of attention. They say she's been arrested and she will betray him for sure. Now can we please both they come here? <coughs> How much did they give you to turn him in?
Democracy is a fiction. 